What's up guys? Welcome back to a new vlog. I figured I'd just take you guys along with me for a few days in my life or just like pick up the camera here and there over the next like week or so. Today I am going shopping. I need to go down and get some groceries. Um, I also need to maybe go and stop in at a Marshalls. I'm kind of looking for some things for Mother's Day currently. When I'm filming this, it is still before Mother's Day. You guys will probably see this after Mother's Day though. So happy Mother's Day to all of you mommies out there. Um, yeah, just kind of looking for some little gifts and we'll probably get a little bit of lunch. I don't know if I'm going to go thrifting today. I don't think I am because I don't really need anything, but sometimes when I'm close by the thrift store and I have a little time to kill, I stop in there too. So today is a day of shopping. I'm currently waiting for Everett because he's just in the garden um, about to leave, but I, show you, I thought I'd show you guys some cute little things that I recently picked up. I got this at Target, this big, like, thick straw hat it's from universal thread and it's so big it's just such a perfect little sun hat or like garden hat it is very very big but i feel like it's perfect for when i'm on the hammock and i've been like reading my book on the hammock or being outside in the garden just doing like a little gardening stuff because it's pretty affordable and it was at target and then i thought i'd show you guys some of my little blooming flowers since we're here here is my little snowball bush. I actually have two of these. Sorry if you guys can hear the weed eating in the background. But he is blooming, super cute. I get a lot of questions about this plant as well. I thought it was an annual, but it came back. It is called a little pocketbook plant, and they're so cute. They have like little puffies. I forget what these guys are called, but I did get those recently, and that they are blooming now. I think I got them at Home Depot, and there's some little Cosmos here going on. And then in the back, my favorites, you guys. Um, these are peonies. I love peonies. I had a bunch of them at my wedding, so I feel like they're very like special to me for that reason. And they are all blooming. Today's probably like the last day because they are very open. And then here we have my lupin. And then here is my other little snowball. He's blooming. They're so cute. They look, look like really small hydrangea puffs. They must be related to hydrangeas because they look very similar. And the rock roses are doing really well. These are really great for, there's a ton more buds, so these will be blooming for a little while. And these are really good for drought and also in hot sun. We had them where I lived in Sacramento and it would be like 110 all summer. Aw, look and they did really well in the 110 degree heat. Yeah, I got a ladybug, baby. I got bugs. Hey, buddy. Off he goes. Like I mentioned before, Everett redid his gardens back here. I will maybe give you guys a garden tour if that's something you guys might want in a future vlog. But we have a bunch of big hoops and different garden beds. He also ended up getting a shed from Home Depot. He has his composting brewing station over there. What's it called? Compost tea. Compost tea that he does for all of his plants. This is my little box right here too. He gave me this box and I'm doing all herbs. So it's like cilantro, sage, Thai basil, thyme, oregano, chives, and parsley. Quick OOTD before we run out the door. Here's my little outfit. It is almost all thrifted. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I have an Ana Luisa little chain necklace on and this longer snake necklace that I recently thrifted at Goodwill. I have this super cute little like striped over button up blouse that I thrifted and haven't worn yet. So excited to finally wear that. Little tank top that I always talk about getting in the like bra area at Marshalls. I love them, they come in like a little two or three pack. Have on these little American Eagle shorts. I forget if I thrifted these in Palm Springs or after I got back, but they are pretty new. I think I got them in Palm Springs. The purse is thrifted Nine West. All right, you guys, I didn't show you, but I just got done in my favorite little thrift store here. It's called Bargain World. It has amazing prices. I don't know if you guys can see me because I don't have the thing. Oh, lady's trying to run me over. Okay, lady. <laughs> She's really excited to get in there and thrift, I understand. Uh, yeah, I got some stuff, a few little tops, and some pillow shams from Pottery Barn. So. That was good. Now I have to go drop off some donations that I have over at Goodwill. I'll show you guys this stuff when I get home later today. All 
All right, guys, one more tour done. There's Ev, working away. It's hot, it's like 90 degrees out there. I'm surprised he's not sweating. Today is the first day that it's 90 degrees out. Whew, it's hot, you guys, I am not ready. It's been like 85, but today, today it's warm on a new level, like this is, Swimming. I could go swimming. I'm gonna go over to Marshall's now. I don't really need anything I'm just gonna take a quick peek through and then we have to go to Walmart I like to get my sugar-free sauces at Walmart from the brand G Hughes. They make a bunch of like barbecue sauce teriyaki sauce Sugar-free ketchup like all the sauces you guys sauce has so much sugar in it So if you're trying to avoid sugars, that's a great way to kind of like cut down on sugars Honey mustard they have a good one um, so they have this new sauce called Yum Yum Sauce and Ever and I are really into it. It's really similar to like one of the Chick-fil-A sauces, the like orange one. And it's so good on chicken. We put it on burgers. What else have we put it on? It's good on like everything, I feel like. I can't film in there. So I'll see you guys after. Hello. Okay. We are back from shopping. Got a ton of groceries. I went to the thrift store as you guys saw and then I did quickly run through Marshall's. I didn't find much in there, but I did. You guys know me, I love fragrances, especially within the last like two years or so. I've been obsessed with fragrances and like really adding to my collection. Um, yeah, so I've recently gotten a few that I'll share in an upcoming video, but I did find this one. I know Toka fragrances are very popular. I think there's one called like Stella or something that a lot of people talk about, but this one right here, it's called Maya and it was only $24. Whoa, yeah, this is a pretty big bottle. Ooh, the bottle is so pretty. Yeah, so this one is normally $75 at Sephora and the notes, I looked up the notes cause I had to know. Yeah, I haven't smelled it yet. Top notes are blackcurrant and violet leaf. Middle notes are iris flower, damask rose, and jasmine. Definitely warm. And I smell the floral for sure. I'm gonna have to let it dry down because I feel like when you first spray something and then when you come back, it smells a little different on the dry down. It's kind of different than I was expecting it to be, but I do like it, I'm not bummed about it. Sometimes when I buy ones at TJ Maxx without, um, when I buy them like this, I don't like them, but that one's good. It's definitely more floral than I normally go for. I'm normally like a sweet and then like spicy and like unisex sensual lover. But I did end up getting this in the mail as well. Nail Addict ended up sending me over some gel polishes, which is so exciting, and a gel lamp. And I'm excited because I love to do gel polish on my toenails, especially during the summer. I feel like I wear like sandals and flip flops all summer. And so they sent me over their little um, UV light here. Okay, so I'm so excited. We'll do this later in the vlog. Um, I will do my fingers or toes and test these out. So we will try these out later in the vlog, but I just got some fun ones for spring and summer. And then for all of the thrift stuff, I actually didn't get too much stuff, which was good. I got this super cute little like ribbed sports bra. I just thought it was very cute, like a nice little knit. And I saw that it was from the brand Gymshark or I recognized the little logo. And I feel like all of my friends who are really into like working out and like athletic stuff love Gymshark. So this one was $2.50. I got this super cute little, very basic, like cropped baby tee, long sleeve tee, stretchy. It's just Forever 21. Super simple and easy, but I like shirts like this. And I always am a sucker for black and white, especially stripes or like black and white prints. I don't know why, I love them so much. Oh, and that one was $2.29. And this is the last item of clothing I got. It is a long button down blouse and it's from the brand Rip Curl. Um, $2.29, just kind of like a very beachy, boho, kind of like classic little button down long sleeve. And then the last things I got were two little pillow shams, which I thought would look really cute, either on my bed or on my couch, cause all my stuff is very like neutral beige out here. And they are just from Pottery Barn. So there's the first one right there. And these were um, $1.99. 
So a dollar piece. And I really liked those. I feel like they're so cute. So yeah, that's everything from the haul. I'll wash all this stuff. Hopefully it all fits. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. I'll see you guys next time something exciting happens because I think that's, all, that's everything for today. Hey guys, so I figured I would show you guys my new nail addict nail routine. I glued on my nails. You definitely don't have to do this. You can just do this on your regular nails, but I haven't had long nails in a little while. So I figured I would just glue those on. These are just like oval, shaped nails that I got off Amazon. So these are the four colors that I ended up getting from Nail Addict. This is the first one. It's kind of like a cool toned, like mauve purpley, nude-ish kind of color. I did get a fiery, like orangey red. I like to do that sometimes in the summertime. Um, I got white just because I think that white is just such a clean nail color. So I do like to wear that a lot. And then I got a really pretty, like light baby pink. I think maybe I'll do this one today just because it's kind of springy. I haven't done gel nails in forever. So this will be fun. I love the lights now too because they're so much more like compact than the old ones. I used to have, I have a gel light from like when it first came out like over 10 years ago when gels were like just beginning and that light is so big and clunky. So it's kind of nice that this one is just like so small and like compact and light and so much better to store. All right, guys, there is hand number one. Super pretty, I love this color. Like I said, it's very similar to Bubble Bath from OPI. This is the color called Secret Lover, but they actually had quite a few little like nudie baby pinks. It was hard to choose. They had like a whole nude collection, which I was excited about. A few things that I really liked about it is that the color itself is pretty thick. And so I only needed one coat because it's so opaque. So I didn't need to like go in with the second coat, which saves a lot of time. And what I really like about the light is that it turns on and off when you put your hand in. So if you take your hand out, the light actually turns off. And then when you put your hand in, it turns back on. My old light that I used to have did not do it. It would just like turn on once I turned it on and it went. So that's so cool on top of it being very like light and compact. Now I'm just going to do the rest of my other hand and my toes. And then I'll give you guys my final thoughts at the end. I do have a coupon code for nail addict. It is 45% off of the entire site. As long as I think you buy two polishes and the code is Rochelle 45. I'll link everything in the description box down below, but yeah, so far good experience so far. All right. Let me finish up really fast. Here are my finished fingernails. I just think they look so clean and springy and just like nice. I feel like this is kind of like such a good everyday color for me. And then I did do my toes as well. So easy to just put them in. Um, I did cure each one for two minutes and that seemed to work fine. And what I really like too is this is a no wipe top coat. And this one, like once it's done curing, like they're totally good to go. So, so excited. I'll show you my toes really quick. Hopefully there's no creepos watching. There we go. So we're all matchy matchy. I love it. Well, upon first impression, I'm so impressed. I am very excited. I actually want to kind of go on there and see if they have any more colors that I might end up wanting to get. I feel like I like gels when they're like really glittery sometimes and I don't have any glitter ones. All I have is like a few little nudes in this red. So maybe I'll get a few more colors and look for some like sparkly ones. I feel like that would be really nice. I will see you guys in a little while. Hello, friends. I'm not even gonna lie. I wasn't planning on filming right now, but I've had this thought in the back of my mind that I've been wanting to start a Chloe Ting workout challenge. My stomach is my... Problem area? <laughs> Problem area. Beautiful little belly. My beautiful <laughs> little belly. Everett and I... My nickname for myself is Big Belly Shelly. Oh, this is the wrong, this is the wrong bra.
I just completed number one of three. Now that was full body hit. I'm gonna do abs, flat belly and stomach. And then we have a booty and legs. Whew. Alright guys, I did it. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, Tegan is here with Tigger, one of her favorite toys. <laughs> I am just finishing editing up this vlog and I realized that I didn't do an outro, so this is kind of my outro. Haven't been doing anything fun the last few days, to be honest. All of our stuff, like appliances and stuff that you just have to keep up on, have been like breaking lately. Um, First up, our washing machine broke, so Everett tried to fix it, and then once he fixed it, we're having like a rubbing thing going on, so like it smells like burning rubber, so he has to like retake it all apart and figure out what didn't go together correctly. Our hot water heater is currently on the fritz. We've had problems with it for a long time, and it's doing its weird thing where it's not wanting to turn on, so we are only having cold water lately. Our boat has some like dead battery issues and we're also having some problems with our boat speakers. This morning we woke up and our boat trailer has a flat tire. So we went over to get a new tire and then we checked on our travel trailer and our travel trailer has mice inside. So now we have to figure out where the mice are getting in and cover up all holes and everything they're in there and I have to go clean that up, but not today. We're gonna have to do that a different day. We set some mouse traps, and then also Everett's Cadillac has a dead battery. Um, is that everything? I think that's everything at the current moment. So yeah, we've just been having to do like adulting things. It's I know it's first world problems. It's not like anything that's like life or death situation. It could be way worse. It's just like all of our things are breaking all at the same time. So we're just focusing all today and probably in the next few days on dealing with all of those little fires that we have to do as adults. So I figured I would just wrap up this little vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and really appreciate all of you guys that are interested in just like my day-to-day -day life more than all of my other fashion content. Like it feels like you guys genuinely care about me. And so I always just wanna say thank you so much. There has been a few things that have been on my mind as far as like a discussion that I wanna have with you guys or just like opening up about some stuff that has to do with my channel and um yeah so maybe i'll save that for a future vlog um but until then i'll see you guys very soon i hope you guys are all hanging in there and i love you and i'll see you guys later bye tegan also says bye bye so does ziggy <laughs> okay bye